Have you gotten comments from women? Yes, a few, yes. Yeah, could be bigger. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. The doctor told me yeah, it's, it's also possible to get nine centimeters out of it, so another penis afterwards, you know, like maybe a little bit like a pore, you know. Alright, so we're here just south of Frankfurt to see one of the top doctors. He's the guy whose name pops up when you Google penis enlargements in Germany. It's the number one hit, so uh, let's go see what it looks like. We have more or less 250 patients a year, just penile patients. Well, most patients come, of course, from Germany as we are world champions. We have a lot of patients from Middle East, from Latin America, from Mexico, from Puerto Rico, some come from States. Now after I'm divorced, I'm trying to find a new partner. I'm trying to um, build up a better self-confidence, to be honest. Yeah. I got a lot, kind of Napoleon complex. I always have been very short. I compensated that fact because it's a kind of obsession. In the pornography, in the porno movies, the penile uh, lengths are always between 17 and 25 centimeters. And if uh, a man is regularly watching these movies, of course he gets some impression my, my penis is too small, I must have a bigger one. Does it make sex better to have a bigger penis? Um, I think yes. Uh, it's not only a question of uh, the organic size, but also a question of the feeling more free in the head. I even had one patient who brought me 100 euro from his wife, who was so happy about the new sexual vibe that uh, it was a present of, uh, from his wife for me. All right, we're here in an operating room and about to see a penis enlargement surgery. Let's see how this operation is done. Vielleicht haben Sie gesehen, und daneben Rührei. So now we'll go deeper and find the ligaments, which we'll be able to see in a few seconds. Before you fall down, you tell us. The no, because I, of course, no. Of course, I try to to, shape, to make a shape to follow the shape of the inner tides. Okay. A doctor who is doing this procedure in a man with a normal penis, uh, he is always putting these patients at risk. Always, because these procedures have complications. We know that uh, when infections occur then uh, there is a an, an shortening of the penis because of the scarring of the penis. So many patients I see here uh, who have undergone penile enlargement surgery have got a shortened penis and not an enlarged penis. And they, many of them are suing uh, their surgeons because uh, the outcome of the surgery is quite the opposite what they have expected. So how extensively do you discuss potential side effects with patients before they go through well, the process? Well, they have to know everything before they um, sign the document. They have to decide themselves if they want to be operated or not. They have to know what can be expected. They have to know what side effects can happen. And if they know it, they sign and they have the operation. It looks very weird. It's the expander you have to wear after the surgery. That was one thing I talked with the doctor that he told me, yeah, did you wear the expander? Because if you don't wear it, it could be that, you know, the gain is not as big as expected. But my flaccid penis was so much short, swollen that even I wasn't able, you know, to go through this. I did this surgery about one year ago. They told me it's like, you know, you, you do the surgery, you have no pain, you go home and after two days you can work. But this is far away from reality. You get up, you have this really big pain. 
you can't go to toilet, you can't sit, you can't stand. They didn't tell me that it would be like this. When I called the doctor, um, they always say, said something like, you know, he's not in the house at the moment, he will come back later and he will call you again. And, but of course, he didn't call. Nobody called me. They're just interested in selling the surgery in, 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 yeah, but afterwards they don't care about you. So like now, how much bigger is it? I think the erected length didn't change in any way, but the flaccid length um, increased by, let's say, one to two centimeters. But my girlfriend even says it doesn't look good. This is about uh, 10, 10 grand, 10,000 euros. But so are we worried about spending that much money on something like this? So uh, coming back to the, to the risk and things like that, you probably heard much more than I did. Uh, maybe I run away now. I went into this thinking that maybe the, the, a penis enlargement was something that would actually work or that it, would, that it was something that was useful in some way. And I see now that it's just pure bullshit. It is, it's unethical and the underlying problems behind it are all mental and not physical. I don't think I'm at any risk of having a penis enlargement surgery ever, especially after having watched it, which was among the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my entire life.